it's one person who's stopping this. I know, you know, it's not really, it's not really a secret. Little Wayne had a problem with somebody before who's kind of part of the organization running it. This is payback. You know, my hatred is toward the NFL. You know, not really, not really the people that book the halftime show. I'm mad at the people that hired them that booked the halftime show. I feel like y'all should step in. Y'all done through 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans, man. An affiliation to Jay-Z in some sort of way. Y'all be thinking that y'all can disrespect and violence. So in news drop that Kendrick Lamar is headlining the 2025 Super Bowl halftime show in New Orleans. The internet and the hip-hop community went absolutely wild. But not everyone's feeling it. Especially since Lil Wayne, who's a whole legend from NOLA, got passed over fans and industry heads are seriously heated, and they are not holding back. A lot of them are coming for Jay-Z and the NFL accusing them of disrespecting New Orleans and straight up snubbing Wheezy, and the drama doesn't stop there. Some folks are saying this might be Jay-Z getting revenge on Wayne for their past beef. And as if things couldn't get crazier, Drake has now allegedly responded to the whole situation too. And he's got people thinking he believes Jay is out here, plotting to take him down. It's a whole mess, y'all. So let's get into these. Reaction. It looks shady. Jay-Z, it really looks like you is putting your middle finger up to both Drake and both of the way. And I don't know why. Because you got songs with both. So one of the first to vent their frustrations over Jay-Z and the NFL snubbing Lil Wayne was, of course, Nicki Minaj. Now you already know that Nicki never passes up a chance to come for Jay-Z no matter what the situation is, and if you've been keeping up you know she's convinced that Jay-Z has been plotting to sabotage her career from day one. Well, she's not holding back again this time. She straight up called Jay evil and spiteful. She even took it further, accusing him of constantly sticking his nose in other people's business. Nikki wrote on X got everything in the world, still spiteful and evil, disgusting, be happy. IG go on be effing happy ninja in rap business and women business. When you got the politicians and the police, you good though plus that ugly laffy taffy alien by the way the ugly laffy taffy alien Nikki is referring to is most likely the president of Rock Nation and Jay-Z's right hand woman, Desire Perez. Nikki previously dragged Desiree for conspiring against her and allegedly paying for Megan the Stallion's streams. Oh, and Desire also happens to be a former FBI informant. But that's the topic for another video. But Nikki doesn't stop there. She also went off on Jay-Z for allegedly punishing Lil Wayne because of his past issues with the Cash Money, Young Money crew, she said denying a young black man. Would he rightfully put into this game for no other reason? But your ego, your hatred for Birdman, Drake, and a Nikki got you punishing Lil Wayne Lil. Wayne the Goat, Nola was good. Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out. And that's when Wayne's longtime mentor Birdman joined the chat, demanding respect for his team. Birdman wrote, shaking my effing. Head these ninjas, underscore, underscore. Nikki Drake, Lil Wayne, YMCMB Imam, make these ninjas, respect us on Gladys, hating is for real. Meanwhile, Louisiana native, Bowie Badass, also went on a rant on X, saying a Louisiana rapper should have been picked in instead. Of Kendrick Bowie wrote, all y'all acting like y'all cool with how they playing it for the Super Bowl. The most cultural city in the using New Orleans, it's a smack in the face to every hip-hop legend from Louisiana master Pete Birdman. This shows they never wanted y'all. To kick in the door in the first place, cuz, they still trying to lock it. Super Bowl 22 was in Cali, and Cali artists was allowed to do their thing. And it was a great show. But now it's in Louisiana, and no Louisiana legends can do they. Thing, I don't respect it. Speaking of Master, he was one of the first to publicly say Lil Wayne deserved that halftime show. Master B hit up Instagram to let everyone know how he really feels. And while he gave Kendrick his props, acknowledging that K-Dot's been killing it this year and deserves his shine, he made it clear in his opinion, Wheezy should have been the one taking that stage. He went on to explain why Wayne, who he considers a straight-up legend, deserves his flowers, especially in his own city. He basically said, how are you going to have the Super Bowl in New Orleans and not let the hometown hero shine? Master P tagged the NFL, 
Jay-Z and Mayor of New Orleans, LaToya Cantrell, and wrote salute to Kendrick Lamar for performing at the halftime show at Super Bowl 59, well-deserved. He's one of the hottest music artists in the world and has one of the biggest songs right now as ambassador of entertainment in the city of New Orleans. I have to agree with the fans that Lil Wayne should be a part of this celebration as well. He's one of the greatest hip-hop artists alive, still relevant. And he's a New Orleans native. Let's not miss the cultural moment in the South. Life is too short. We have to give our legends their flowers while they are here. Change starts with us now. As for Cameron and Mace, they had a slightly different take on this. And they directly called out Jay-Z for hating on Lil Wayne. The rappers turned podcasters duo addressed this topic on their It Is What? It Is podcast. And while they both agreed that Kendrick deserves the headline slot, they said Lil Wayne was the obvious choice. And they accused Jay-Z of being an insecure hater. Cam alluded to Wayne's past issues with Jay-Z and suggested that Jay picking Kendrick to headline. Super Bowl is payback. And listen, I love Kendrick Lamar. I love the pop-up. I think he's one of the top artists of this generation, period. Hate this election. It's in New Orleans. You don't get Lil Wayne. You that's what we doing? Yeah. Listen, yeah. you don't get Lil Wayne in New Orleans for the hot Super Bowl. Not just Hot Boys, Cash Money, all the songs Lil Wayne's done, whether it's Blink 182. There's no reason why Lil Wayne should not be performing the Super Bowl. Just one person who's stopping this. I know, you know, it's not really, it's not really a secret. Little Wayne had a problem with somebody before who's kind of part of the organization running it. This is payback. Who's that? Who's Little Wayne artist? Drake. Yeah, that, I'm not, this is this hating is, at this, this age is it, crazy. It's crazy, yeah. bro. Bro, bro, it's ridiculous. Like hating Mike, Mike, this Mike, this some hip hop. You probably don't know what's going on, to be totally honest with you. So we'll school you behind the scenes. Little Wayne, not to be performing in New Orleans for the Super Bowl, is egregious. And it got to stop. I can do it. It got to stop. Mike, we'll tell you what's going on later. It got to stop, bro. It got to stop, man. Yeah, and I'm doubling down on that. Hating at this age is crazy. Yeah, it's wild. I love Wayne. It's wild, bro. I work with Wayne. I love him. Great dude. Great dude. And and this has nothing towards Kendrick. Kendrick, If anybody deserved it, Kendrick would have deserved it. But this is some backstory going on. Yeah. While Lil Wayne is not performing the Super Bowl. Okay. All good. Right, I can dig it. Yeah, that's sad. That's that's so that's so sad. Yeah, that's like really sad. Like, come on, man. for real, bro. You it, that insecure, man? Like, come on. I didn't want me to speak on this Super Bowl situation. Look, I'm mad about the situation, just like y'all, man. But you know, my hatred is toward the NFL. You know, not really, not really the people that book the halftime show. I'm mad at the people that hired them. They booked the halftime show. I feel like y'all should step in. Y'all done through 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans, man. Y'all have yet to put a hip-hop artist from New Orleans on the damn Super Bowl. Sure, y'all have put artists on the Super Bowl back in the days. So y'all hurt. Uh, and uh, the list goes on. Not too many. Not too many. You know, I feel like every time y'all come here, y'all should have somebody from our city on this shit. But this time, it really stick hit hard when you don't have Lil Wayne on the show. I don't see how the f- Y'all don't have Lil Wayne doing a halftime show. Somebody that has a whole bunch of hits and somebody that really deserves it and somebody that can bring out multiple artists of all genres. Think about it. So this goes to you, Roger Goodell. You need to get it right, man. You coming in our city, sucking up our culture and making up all this money and putting all this bread in your pocket, putting all this bread in other people's pockets and and leaving us dry, hanging us dry. You gotta stop.